Hi, I'm Dan Cortapassi. Today I'm reviewing an N-Scale Tier 4 Jivo locomotive from Scale Trains. My example is decorated for Union Pacific and represents what UP calls a C45AH. Scale Trains offers these locomotives and other paint schemes with road-specific detail. Scale Trains offers this model in two versions, one with DCC and sound installed and as a DCC-ready model. The price direct from Scale Trains for the DC version is $124.99. Mine is the version with DCC and sound. Though I bought mine from an online retailer, the price was the same as the factory direct price of $204.99. We'll start the model at 100 possible points. The engine comes in a cardboard box. Inside is a manual with some DCC and other information about the locomotive. A two-piece form plastic cradle is nestled in the foam that lines the outer box. This is a good box that should protect the model for storage and transport. I did some research and found pictures of the real UP2587. The details and markings on the model appear to be a very close match. The paint on the model is evenly applied, though thick enough to begin to soften the details. I found a few small voids in the markings at panel seams, but nothing too objectionable. All but the smallest writing on warning labels is legible with magnification. I really like how the grills are darkened with paint to give them the illusion of depth. The Union Pacific Yellow looks dull and is not quite the right shade, a thing I've seen on other scale trains UP models. I'm taking five points for that. The detail on this engine is fantastic for N-Scale. The handrails are molded in a flexible plastic and have a thin cross section. Many of the details are freestanding, especially under the sill. The brake lines on the trucks are separate parts, something not always seen even in HO scale. In front, the model has detail comparable to many HO scale diesels, including freestanding grab irons and uncoupling levers, separate windshield wipers, and separately applied hoses and an MU cable. The cab sunshades are nicely done and very thin. The plow appears to match prototype photos. The detail in the back is done to the same level. I like the spare knuckle holders on the rear pilot. The PTC array on the roof matches prototype photos. The horn casting is really nicely done and looks accurate. The exhaust stack has a recessed opening that is painted black inside to simulate depth. The radiator grills are photo etched and look really good. Underneath, the speaker opening is visible in the middle of the fuel tank. All of the wheels pick up current and all six axles are powered. The engine is equipped with scale trains knuckle couplers on both ends. The front coupler is low. The rear coupler is at the correct height. It's worth noting that these couplers do not have trip pins for magnetic uncoupling. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. The model has no noticeable body wobble, which is great. The engine weighs 4 ounces even. I measured a peak of 0.5 ounces of drawbar pull on my force gauge. The front and rear headlights are activated with the F0 key and are directional. The number boards come on when there is power on the track. Both ditch lights are activated with F6. They do not flash when the horn sounds, which is correct for Union Pacific. There's a tiny bit of light bleed under the deck below the ditch lights. A little paint in that area might help cure that. The model runs very smoothly. The sound is not all that loud, which is to be expected from the tiny speakers needed for N-Scale. So let's take a look at what we've got. The Union Pacific Yellow is the wrong shade, so I took five points in the paint and detail category. The model had one low coupler, so I took five points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with a total of 90 out of 100 possible points, which would be an A- minus on a report card. Overall, this is a nice locomotive, and I feel very comfortable giving it a green signal. Scale Trains has done a great job on this engine and has definitely raised the bar for N-Scale detail. This thing has better detail than a lot of HO scale engines. With its excellent ESU decoder, this is sure to please a lot of modern era modelers.